Hello ladies and gentlemen, Fuzzfinger here and welcome to my first standalone video for Destiny 2. And today I'm going to show you how to get this buff, the Scouting Commander, which you can get at the farm. And not only does this basically increase your speed, but it also increases your jump height and gives you other uh, bits and bobs as well. So if you want to find out how to get this pretty awesome buff, then please stay tuned because there's some secret areas you need to visit and I'm going to show you how in this video. And also guys, if you enjoy watching, don't forget to hit that like button and be subscribed to the Fuzzfinger Gaming YouTube channel. Let's get started. Okay, so you're going to want to start at the farm since obviously this is where the buffs are gained and used. Which means that you need to be here. So travel over here if you're not here already. Then you're going to head over to the water wheel. Something you've probably seen a few times if you've played Destiny 2 for a while now. And what you're going to want to do is basically make your way through the middle of the water wheel. And some of these movement obstacles can be a little bit frustrating. You might need to try them a few times. But don't worry, there's no limit on how many times you can try to get this buff. If you fail, just try again and you'll be fine. So you want to jump up on the roof behind the water wheel and then jump back onto the water wheel onto the top of it and move in a backwards direction. Well, in a forwards direction, uh, in an opposite direction I should say. And that gives you the sentry ranks times two and the wheel boost completed. At that point you'll be glowing blue a bit and you'll have your first buff. But you're going to want to jump up on here onto this pipe or these cables and then make your way across. Again, try and do so carefully, just run in a straight line. All the way up and over to the other side where you're going to jump on the roof using your new Sentry Ranks 2 buff. And then you're going to make your way over to the next pipe or the next set of cables. And again, same kind of thing. You can get stuck actually in between this small cable down here. But that's fine. Just run forwards again and onto the other roof. And once you reach this roof, you'll get your Sentry Ranks buff upgraded to times 4 and you'll get Vertigo completed. And from here you want to fall, not jump, but just fall to the ground. Make your way over then to this side where you'll find a campfire of sorts. And we're going to be interacting with it. And once you do this, you're going to start another section of a movement puzzle, if you like, where we're going to have to stand in some blue lights. So when we start this puzzle, I think we get just a few seconds in between each of the blue orbs that we have to stand in to keep the buff going. So hopefully we'll do it. Uh, but you might need to try it a few times. Fortunately, the other temporary buffs do last longer. So you do get uh, a slightly longer opportunity to get those done. So there we got one. So now we need to get a move on here. As we make our way over to the next one before that buff disappears. There we go. Now we need to make our way up here onto the roof. And just keep heading up to this dome at the top. Again, try and do it before that buff expires. Some of these can be a little bit fiddly, unfortunately. Ah, there we go, yes. Now we just jump down. Did we get that? Yes, we did. So now we can go over here. Oh, it is possible to jump straight down. By the way, if you die at any point during this then unfortunately you will lose the buff and have to start again so just bear that in mind okay death is the end of this okay that'll take us inside and the next one is uh, back out here yep yeah, there it is again getting stuck is going to be the biggest obstacle to getting these Right then, and then we're just going to keep moving. We're nearly done now. And then this is the last one over here. Uh, it might be the second to last one, actually. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And you'll see that all your buffs then, once you've got this final one, have been replaced by Scouting Commander, which is a permanent buff now while you're here. And it won't expire. And it's all those other buffs basically combined into one. So you can have some fun with it while you're, you know, prancing around the farm. So I hope this video has been enjoyable, guys. And if it has, don't forget to leave a like to support me. And make sure you subscribe to the Fuzzfinger Gaming YouTube channel for more Destiny 2 content. Alright, folks. See you soon. Goodbye.